my name is Diana Loderhose. I'm the International Features Editor here at Deadline. We're in Jeddah for the Red Sea Film Festival at our Red Sea studio, and I'm joined today by Paz Vega. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. So you are on the jury, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I want to talk about, you've just directed your first film, I believe, Rita. Yes, it is. Yeah, I... Um, uh, yeah, I uh, I wrote the script as well. Fantastic. Uh, the name of the project is Rita. The movie is a, it's a, it's a movie already, so it's a, I'm really excited, and I think it's gonna be out uh, yeah next year for sure. And I'm the part I'm right now. We are, I'm in the part in the last part of the process, mm -hmm. um, but I'm so excited, and um, it was um, like a, I don't know a dream come true, like to be able to shoot my first. Um, uh, movie and it's a very personal story. So, what can you tell us about the story? It's about two young kids, I believe. Yeah, it's about yeah. It's a uh, Rita. Uh, she is a little girl. She's seven years old. Uh, my two leading roles are really, really small. I mean, really, uh, uh, there is child. The seven years old, the girl, and six year old, the boy, and they. Just, they, they, they did an amazing, amazing job. And we've been working with them three months uh, in advance, previous uh, to the shooting, and just they deliver an amazing, amazing performance. So I'm so excited. What is the story about exactly? Can you tell us? It's, it's about um, like f five, six days in the life of these uh, uh, two kids, uh, brother and sister. The story happened in 1984 mm -hmm. during the European uh, 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 football, a uh, soccer uh, um, uh, uh, match, I mean competition. And, uh, and, and, it's, um, and it's just uh, two kids trying to understand what is happening uh, in in that house, what is happening in in their lives, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is not uh, an easy an easy stuff. But um, yeah. yeah, it's directing a film sounds very challenging. You know, I have children, and I, I can't get them to listen to what I say. Was it challenging directing young kids? Being honest, I've been uh, we've been really really lucky because. The, th the three kids, because there is another one, he's a little older, he's nine year old, and they're so good and so um, calm on set. Like uh, they understand the process in right away. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really, I, I really enjoyed the, 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 um, the journey with them. But like I say, we've been working with them three months before. So the work was really hard and very precise, and uh, and uh, and it was good. It was good, and and they it, it, it's fun when you when you they say okay let's let's get shooting. So they are the first one on mark. <laughs> like uh, okay, I'm gonna be. What is my mark? What is my? Uh, and they are very very professionals. It was um it was great experience. More professional than some adults. I have to say. You need to get these children <laughs> to meet my kids, it sounds like. Um, so tell me, you have a, a ton of stuff kind of coming up as well on the on the acting side. Mm -hmm. You've recently done a show with Netflix called 1992. Yeah. What can Do you tell us about that, and when can we expect to see it? Soon, I believe, yes? Or I think so. Uh, the, it's a TV show for Netflix, and uh, it's directed and created by uh, Alex de la Iglesia. Um, it's a story about some mm, uh, murder uh, happens in 1992, and um, there is a very creepy story behind that. And my character is a police that she's trying to find out what happened. Um, and uh, I don't know if you, I mean, probably as you know, the, the work of Alex de la Iglesia, he's very spectacular work in shooting and, and doing very powerful images. Like, uh, that's crazy. Anything else that you can tell us about you have coming up? Um, yeah, I, I, I was shoot, uh, last year <laughs> I, I did so many things. Um, there is another uh, movie about uh, the Salvadorian conflict in the 80s. It's a very, very 
It's a tragedy. It's a very dramatic story about a true events that happened at that time. And, um, and the director is uh, Ernesto Melara. Um, the movie name is Luciérnagas en el Mozote. And, uh, and uh, like I say, it's going to be out next year. Fantastic. So we were talking a little bit earlier about this, but at the moment, um, Spanish language content is really, really booming uh, on the international market. And you have companies like Netflix have set up camp just outside of Madrid. You've just yeah. done a show with them. We've been there. We're shooting You've been there. there. Um, tell me a little bit why you think this is, you know, what's happening internally in the country and why do you think global audiences are receiving Spanish content so, so openly? Uh, being honest, I don't know, because I think uh, it's, this is, like you say, it's something that is happening right now. All the, the content, the Spanish content is traveling very well uh, worldwide, and, and, and the Spanish language uh, is, is very uh, present in, in, in all the platforms. Uh, maybe after uh, Money Heist, Money Heist yeah. and, uh, probably that one was the, the, the biggest, for the beginning of something very unique. Also Narcos in Latin America, I was another one who opened this door, and, and, and I'm glad that the people uh, around the world can enjoy our work, and, and the Spanish language is, is, is getting also uh, an important presence. So, so yeah, I think we're doing a nice job, and, and it's, it's good. It's the, the streaming platforms seem to have really helped as well people to watch them the, the Spanish the streaming platform, oh the streaming yeah, yeah probably yes yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, um, and the fact that Netflix for example like you say built an amazing studios mm -hmm. in Madrid and they are shooting a lot yeah. there and it's really good for for our industry for our country and for our actors and all this stuff the team that we work in in this business so good. is this your first time in Saudi it's my second time second here. Time. I okay. I was invited last year, mm -hmm. and um, I, but now I'm part of the jury, mm -hmm. and I have to say that uh, the experience has been really great mm -hmm. uh, because the selection of the movies are amazing, and we have to watch three or four movies every day, mm -hmm. but because all the movies are so great, so you don't feel like uh, oh, I have to, you know, sometimes it's like uh, four movies a day is a lot. Mm -hmm. And, but it was unbelievable. The, the, the other day was like a four movie. Say, oh my God, I was, I was watching, I, I saw, I, I watched four great movies. And it's, it's so great. And it's going to be very hard to decide yeah. which one is the best. But we have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's hard. But. So um, I wanted to ask, what, what have you noticed in terms of the talent coming out of Saudi Arabia and the region. It's quite a new market, specifically Saudi. So what, what would you say to the kind of types of stories and talent? talent it, it's them? amazing what, it, what uh, is happening here right now and to be part of this, of this uh, new wave and, and about cinema and how all the filmmakers they are growing, the numbers are growing up here, especially women mm -hmm. filmmakers, which is amazing and and um, and the fact that um, the country is using in a way cinema to to open and to you know and it's very exciting uh, people so enthusiastic oh enthusiastic about, enthusiastic, enthusiastic yeah. about yeah. everything about movies about you know like uh, just to open up to the world and it's it's so beautiful to a be, lot of energy. To, yeah, a lot of energy here, and you can feel it. And and it's this this uh, festival is really important for that. So I'm glad to be part of this moment. Great. Thank you so much, Paz, for joining Thank us you. today. Thank you so much. <laughs>